Hello everyone and welcome to this video Sans Frontier video. My name is Jay Wakefield and today we're going to be doing something that we've not visited for about a year. We're going to be taking part in, um, we're going to be doing some stuff for the sensory room. Now um, <clears throat> there's going to be two videos of this, there's going to be the first part um, which is um, this bundle right here and then the second part there'll be a um, it'll be basically me unboxing a lava lamp but what we have here is what I believe will be probably one of the most important things about the sensory room what we have here is a set of LED rope lights if you will Kind of like Christmas lights, but hopefully they don't look as kind of Christmassy as my regular Christmas lights do. Now these work in exactly the same way as the uh, sentry lamp, in that um, they have red, blue and green LEDs. And the idea is, what um, I'll be able to do with them is hang them up across the walls and I'll be able to actually get um, well can have like the entire room kind of lighting up and and then you know complement that with uh, the sentry light and the um, and the lava lamp so with that in mind let's get these unboxed well, first of all we've got the reels um, and we have the lights and then there's a um, there's a four pin connector on here somewhere let's see if I can try and find it I can't at the moment you'll just kind of have to take my word for it but there's a four pin connector that'll connect to something <laughs> next we have an envelope which contains something Oop. We have a remote control, quite similar to the one that I have. You can turn up and down the brightness. You've um, got some buttons here. Um, flash, fade, and I can't read those. And then um, these then kind of look like different coloured Smarties, but they're not. <clears throat> and I think, I don't know, but if these colours are anything to go by, um, I do believe they'll be, they'll represent the actual colours um, a wee bit better than this, the um, LED changing light does, because, I mean, it works fine, and it's, you know, and it does produce nice colours, but um, if I can find the remote, which at the moment I can't. Um, oh, there it is. <clears throat> These colours, they don't... You, you see, you'd expect that to actually make the whole thing kind of light up pink. But it doesn't. It actually is kind of a... Kind of a very kind of burnt orangey colour it's at a pinch it probably could be terracotta but that would be very much at a pinch so um yeah there you have it so that's a remote let's have a look what else is in this box Now this box here is the doohickey that will actually connect all the spools up to, and I don't know what that one does, um, to a power supply, which I'm actually going to be guessing it's probably in this box here.
sorry about this, I'm not, I'm not using a tripod at the moment. So I think what I'll do is I'll kind of just unbox it here. Because I'll be the one kind of putting these up, um, I really need to concentrate so I can't video that. Unfortunately. So now we have a white box. Um, which we're going to try and open. <coughs> there we are. Um, what we have in here is a UK power supply. This is a um, figure of eight connector. Similar one that you would actually find on a stereo. And then we have the transformer box, AC-DC adapter, and this one is a 12 volt one, that's not nice. Sorry, John's Arcade fans will get that. So... I guess one of the best things I can do now is just to test it, you know, before we put it up. Um, and I have to be honest, I'm not... That This is a bit of toilet paper that is supposed to masquerade as the instructions. Right. That's not too impressive. <clears throat> that is going to have to be scanned in. You know, for, even, for me to even have a hope of reading that. So, what I'm going to do is I will uh, unbox... I'll unwrap these spools of lights and I'll see if I can connect them up. Okay, so what we have here is something that kind of looks like a reel-to-reel -reel shit recorder. And uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to power it up. <laughs> um, it was a wee bit complicated to set up because you can either plug the lights in series or in parallel because you've got an, a second 4-pin connector there. I really don't know, um, you know, what the difference is or what have you, but, um, yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'll try it one way and try it the other way, and maybe I should scan the instruction manual, anyway, so, um, so, let's have a look. Okay, so one of them works. Ha, <laughs> nice. <clears throat> so, I, I don't know what's happening with the other one. Do I need to switch it on? or Do I not need to run them in series connected to each other? I, I really don't know what it's all about. But, um... You give me a few minutes, I will find out. Well, after lots of cajoling, I managed to get them both to work together in parallel. Hopefully, I might be able to get them to work together in series. It's just kind of which wire goes where, because these are polarised. So. <clears throat> I wonder, actually. So, I've got... Let's have a look at the colours. We've got red... Kind of orange. Kind of yellow, uh, lighter orange. Uh, kind of sunshine yellow. And yellow. And then we have green.
kind of a mint green kind of turquoisey before moving to the blues which then kind of go from blue to indigo um, and then through to purple and then we have white so far I've not been able to get the brightness controls to go but um, yeah I mean we have the basic colours and yes it does kind of look like the spool is lighting up white on here but that's due to the camera's exposure and I'm just not feeling the colours in the same way that I would on the century light but I suppose you know if it's lighting up the room I'm not exactly going to be looking directly at the lights I'm I'm going to be it's kind of mood lighting thing and I've wanted something set up like this for a long time you've got different settings as well like the century lamp so you've got the um you've got like flashing And then you've got f Fade. <laughs> Strobe. I like that one, actually. And Fade. And then Smooth. Although that just kind of flashes red, green, blue, red, green, blue. See, this setting reminds me of a Christmas tree. My parents, uh, well, set of Christmas lights that my parents had. I used to like that option, plus the ones where it actually faded um, from colour to colour. But these aren't Christmas lights. What I have found out is that these have got some sticky on them. They're sticky back, so you know, basically I can just stick them to whatever. <laughs> um... But I still want to try and connect them in series. I'll, I'll find a way to do that. And then once I have, I will start, um, I'll actually start putting these up on the wall. My, my idea is to basically have it close to the ceiling as I can get, really, because I'd like to paint at some point. So, I'll be back once all that's done. Okay, set rep. There's quite a lot of it that's at, well, I've got the first um, reel um, halfway hung up. It starts down at this door here. Just check I can still open it. And then it goes up and then goes onto the roof and I plan to get it right across to that other wall there, or as far across as I can. So yeah, we'll just kind of see how that goes. Okay, folks, it's time for the inaugural run. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then we can uh, have some uh, different colours as well. Have some red. Have some green. Have some blue. So some white. Let's make it um, as I would like to call it um, Keza approved and have some purple. What I might do though is I might actually just um where it goes down there, I thought I was gonna I thought I was gonna be pinning it down behind the drawers, but then I realised I'd be wasting bulbs. So what I think I might do is um just quickly reconfigure it and then we will uh, plug it in to one of these uh, remote controlled sockets. So, just switch them off for now.
All right. So there you have it. Now, if you're wondering what um, that gap is there, that's um, where I've connected um, the two ropes together, so to speak. Uh, the two strands of LEDs are connected in series, which does mean the colours on this one are a wee bit off, and I really don't know why, but... Ah, uh, never mind. <clears throat> and then this one, the uh, very bottom bit isn't sticky. So, um, yeah. But overall, I mean, I am quite pleased with that. So, now it's actually time to set it up with a um, plug that turns itself on and off. Got the um, regular sensory lamp on one of those. <clears throat> and what I plan to do is put this on number two. And that rhymes. I think I've got it down how to do it. <clears throat> I think if I press and hold the, no uh, the on button on the number two and then press the on off button on this plug, it might do it. Not entirely sure though. What I'm gonna do is just unplug it from the main socket and then plug it in over here and simply what this does is it has a relay switch in it that when I press a button either on the switch itself or on the remote it actually um, it will actually um, um, trigger a switch that will actually uh, turn this plug on and then if I press the button again it'll actually turn off the relay switch which in turn will turn that plug off so that in mind that's flashing I press number two that's flashing faster and now these lights are on channel 2. And the sensory light remains at channel 1. <clears throat> and I'm getting a lava lamp and that will go to channel 3. So there you have it folks. And this has been this has been the um, latest instalment on my Sensory Room series. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And follow me on Twitter and follow the channel on Facebook. But until then, thank you for watching this video. And I hope you'll all join me for my next one. And I will leave you now with... Um, the motherboard wall. See, there's a board from uh, there's a board from that uh, the uh, Grampian electronics machine stripped down the other day. <laughs>